Hi everybody! Welcome back to Pages into the Past. So today we're going to make a Trasfrau petticoat. The Trasfrau is the Lens Connect 1830 camp follower and so today we're going to make a petticoat so hopefully this is going to be like a one day make and you'll get to see pictures almost right away. I'm going to make this first before I make the overdress so that the underpinnings are right for the right shape and form. So here we go. This is going to be the underskirt. This is approximately ankle length and it's made from a felted wool. I cut out two, like, two lengths to ankle length, which was approximately 40 inches. And I kind of freehand cut this section off to create a smaller amount at the waist because being 60 wide, 120 inches around my waist is going to be really bulky. So then what I did is I pinned it together and I put some pleats in it and I created an opening in the front which was on the fold line so that I can get in and out of it through the front seam. And then I attached double bias tape around it so that I can just hook it closed and have a finished petticoat. I still have to do an edging on the bottom, kind of a finish, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my purple wool and I'll create a couple of stripes, contrasting stripes on there, and sew that down just to give it some kind of depth. But that was just an easy peasy skirt. The next step of the underskirt process is to add the guards and so what I've done is because I'm going to do some some cuts in it I made my guard four inches wide so that that will allow for a hem some slashing and another hem and then underneath that I'm putting this upholstery velvet and I only cut that at two inches wide so that when I stitch it down and I stitch this over the top, it'll be secured in place. And then I will finish this with a really small hand-stitched rolled hem, uh, just so that it does have some semblance of hand sewing, but most of this will be done by machine. And then what I've done is I've measured up uh, two and three quarter inches up, made myself a chalk line, as to where to stitch the purple line down. I may have jumped ahead of myself because I have to do the slashes, I believe, first in the purple before I can stitch that down. Here you can see where I sewed the velvet band down to the wool skirt. What I did here is I did a basting stitch. Uh, I was afraid that my chalk line was going to disappear and it looks like it might have. And so what I've done is by doing the basting line that still gives me opportunity for the facing to go over the top here. What I did for the facing is I took my strips and I cut sections out And what that will do is that will go over the top and be sewn down again and just kind of have that cut look when it's all done. So I'm at the point now where I'm going to pin it uh, right sides together where the basting line is so that I can stitch it. And then after, it's, after that I will fold it up and I will hand tack it at the top here. Because if you've been following my channel for any length of time, you'll know how much I really hate hand sewing. But in order to keep these open, I did hand tack them down in these areas just before I pressed them. So I think that might be the extent of my hand sewing today. So tomorrow there will be more hand sewing.
Alright, so I'm thinking at four inches will be a nice gap in between and it'll make it look really balanced. So I'm going to mark this in chalk and then I'm going to stitch this down like I did this one, stitch the bottom down, roll it up and hand stitch the top and then I will only have left to hem the black. So I will get that done and show you the pleated petticoat. My, to my trash fair gown and so here is the, um, the petticoat cutouts and the solid part. And there you have it. Thanks for following. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, make sure you subscribe and we'll see you next time.